Hello, welcome back to the happiness in between. Today I have a little combination video. This is an unboxing of a size that I have been without for a little while. It's actually um, something I made a pouch for by hand and I've really been missing having the size, but I had a Chic Sparrow in the size, but the leather was not my favorite leather for that size. And so when this came up on Buy, Sell, Trade, I went ahead and purchased it. And it is a passport size. And this is in the cream. And this actually, I, this has been, I would say this has been conditioned just by the look of it. And honestly, I'm, I have had a cream before that was conditioned and I sold it because I disliked the look, but this may not be conditioned. It might just be patina as well. I'm not sure. But this was such an inexpensive price that the person listed it for. And honestly, I love to use passport, sometimes pocket as well, just to throw in my purse for quick lists. I don't like to put lists on my phone. I don't like grabbing my phone out. And sometimes it seems like there's a glitch and my list gets lost and or I put it in the wrong folder. And sometimes I just would rather, not sometimes, I like paper. So obviously I like paper. And I really wanted to have a passport size. So this is really soft. It's really beautiful. And I have a creme, which I believe is an older creme, just a creme brulee color. And it's really smooth. I have it in the traditional size traveler's notebook. And I really like it. But I have noticed because I have a chocolate, I think Black Beauty is what it's called in the creme leather, and the folio. And I really enjoy it. It's a very soft leather like this. And this is much more like that folio not as thin but even though it's even though this is thick i mean that is really thick but it is so soft and then i like having pockets i'm just a pockets person i like having the option of putting things in there i like the pin loop so wow that is just lovely it feels amazing so and i'm gonna guess it might actually just be patina now that I look at it. It might not be that it was ever conditioned. The more I look at it, the more I think that's probably the case. But I love it. It's beautiful. So soft. So we'll see how I like using it. It is definitely softer and floppier than I anticipated it being. My pocket that's in the Black Beauty and the creme leather is stiff. It's really I mean, I love it. It's probably not one I'm going to keep my Black Beauty pocket because I actually have a favorite pocket size now. And I'm not sure if I've uploaded the video. And I just, I don't want to keep a large collection. I want to keep what I use. So if I'm not using it, I want someone else to love it instead of it just sitting in a drawer. I just don't, I don't have the money for a collection just to sit in the drawer on a shelf. I don't have the space for it to sit out. And I also don't have a large amount to just have a collection to switch notebook covers. So I buy, and then if it doesn't work for me, I sell so somebody else can see if it works for them. So this is my creme, and I'm sorry, but this just feels amazing. I'm just having so much fun feeling it. And it's funny. I The passport that I had was in the Shakespeare Waypoint. And it had a lot of character to it. Not this much. And obviously it wasn't as thick. And the thinness just, it ended up driving me crazy. I just didn't, I didn't like how thin it was. It was already small, so I didn't need for it to be thin. 
and I kind of prefer, I think, a little bit thicker leather than the Waypoint, at least in the small, because that's the only Waypoint that I've ever owned. And the new colors have totally tempted me in the Waypoint, but I'll have to see if sometime in the new year I want to sell something else I have to try one because... I just love everything that I have right now. I have a couple that I have um, ready to sell or possibly sell, but other than that, the ones that I have, I, I really wanna enjoy using and not just, I don't wanna have so much that I can't enjoy the ones that I have. So, wow, that is really cool, I love. It's got a little, almost looks like a little mole or something there, okay. I'm in love. That's beautiful. So that is the good old standby creme. And I think that is going to be just what I wanted in this size. Like I said, this is my only passport right now. I had a passport in the hand stitch leather tee and I just decided to let it go. And I thought, well, I'll just use my pocket sizes. And I think I got the hand stitch leather tee to replace the Waypoint passport. And then I decided that the hand stitch leather tee just, I didn't need it. Something about it, maybe it was the thinness of the leather as well. I don't know, but I, I went ahead and I sold it. And I've been using pocket sizes, but I find that I would like to have something just a touch smaller. Just this, there's something about the passport size that just feels really nice in the hand. And I guess I use it a little differently. So I'm really excited to have a passport again. And I'm excited to use my bunny pouch that I stitched up out of the re reusable bags. Kind of like the odd uh, is it Odd Girl Journal folder wallet things you put inside? I'm not sure if it's Odd Girls or, but I think it's Kylie or Keely Reichman makes those, but I made it out of the same like reusable bags. I made a cover for this and that's in a previous video that I've already uploaded and I miss using it. So I'm excited. I have one that I can put in there again and I can just toss it in my pouch, toss it in my bag, and and I love it, and so there we go, a creme with a ton of character, and nice and floppy, but still a little bit of substance, and maybe it's, maybe it's my waypoint, I don't know, we're all different in what works for us, so love it, so, and then I also just wanted to take a second. I was given a stack of old, I think they're HGTV, yeah, HGTV magazines. And I know I posted before that I'm starting to do junk journaling. And I just thought I would flip through just so you could kind of see the possibilities for junk journaling because I'm actually finding some really cool pages and I don't know because everybody does a little bit different but if somebody happens to be getting rid of some magazines you might find that it's an inexpensive way to add some pages and again I know that's probably a duh thing for a lot of people but I didn't I hadn't really flipped through HGTV magazines and I was just going to flip through them and then donate them or recycle them and instead I'm actually finding that I'm going to utilize them. I mean, just some of the pages are so, and I'm sorry, you can't hear my kids in the background, but it's just kind of flipping through. I cut out some that was in a Christmas, and this one obviously has all kinds of flowers, so probably is more of the summer, spring, and I thought the doors were fun, so it has a lot of little things that I feel like I could cut out and just use for extra design elements or fun little elements in my junk journal. So I just thought I would flip through real quick to show you an example because they have kind of similar things in the different HG magazines. And I think these might be like two years old. 
So I don't know if the setup is the same, but if you're out and about or you happen to be in Half Price Books, I think they sell magazines used for like a dollar at Half Price Books and they have the HDTV. Just something to keep in mind that it might be a fun addition because I'm going to tear out a bunch of these pages and just set them aside for a pop of color in between some other pages or little, I like some of the lettering I think will be fun to cut out, you know, if you want home or, I don't know, or just a word here and there and putting it together. So I'm excited to use some of these. I wouldn't use them all, but some of them I just found so fun or they'll have a focused page like I love that I think that's going to be great and even if I didn't want what was on back of it I can just glue it down to a different piece of paper and I've got that really cool and I kind of like these where they put things together I think it's a fun design element obviously a lot of the ads I wouldn't use but I think that's really cool. I think that lamp is really cool. And that, I just really like those. I think they'll add a nice pop of color. The page is torn out already. And apples, if I want a big, cool picture of apples. So a fun way to get inexpensive. I like this. I like the way it's set up. I think it'll be really fun just as a visual element that's not too overpowering and distracting as an extra page in the journal. So I like that too, I'm not sure. But anyway, I wanted to pass it on because I think HGTV is not something I would have thought of at first for a junk journal. I really was leaning more towards some of the ones that are made for journaling, and but they're really, you know, $15 to buy new if I go on eBay you know I'm looking at probably more than the cover price and it can be a little bit daunting when you don't have any stash of items for travelers well not for travelers notebook but for junk journaling in your travelers notebook to try and think of well where can I get some cool items without spending a fortune you know and still have a really neat travelers notebook so like I said, I just, I love this. This has been in several of the pages where it's just like paint swatches. So I'm sorry I'm bumping the camera here, but I just, just wanted to flip through and show kind of the cool pages for thought, just in case it was something that someone out there hadn't thought of. Definitely keep it in mind. I don't know how expensive they are to purchase new, but like I said, I was given them used and you might have a friend or somebody who gets them, likes to look at them and then doesn't keep them. So I think HGTV has got some great, great source for um, junk journaling. So I hope this video has been fun for you. It was really fun to share with all of you. I hope you're having a wonderful beginning of your autumn and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. And if you like this video, I would love it if you give a thumbs up. That would be so encouraging. If you have comments, I'd love to hear your comments. And if you haven't subscribed, if you want to subscribe, that would also be wonderful. So have a wonderful week. Thanks so much. Bye.